No one knows how 2020 will end and what damage the coronavirus pandemic will ultimately inflict on Latin America and its banks. But it is somewhat reassuring to know that generally the region's largest banks have gone into this crisis well capitalized. This is important not only for banks, naturally, but also for the economies and the local communities they serve. Let's look at Brazil, where some expect the economy to contract by as much as 8% this year. Brazil's largest banks have begun the year with solid capital adequacy ratios after a year of healthy growth. This is true not only for the Brazilian banks that traditionally dominate the market and the region because of their size. Ita Unibanco remains the undisputed leader with a tier one capital of nearly $32 billion over assets of $406 billion. It is followed by Banco Bradesco, Banco do Brasil, and Caixa Econômica Federal. But it is BTG Pactual, a bank with only a small fraction of Itaú's tier one capital, that shows the highest overall performance among Brazil's top banks. In Mexico, Bandarejo, a lender that focuses on small businesses, which are often perceived as carrying higher risk, is the country's best performing. The country's biggest bank, Banco Banorte, shows also a healthy balance between size, leverage and return. It is the second best scoring by overall performance. Colombia, the region's third largest banking market, sees its two biggest lenders, Banco Colombia and Banco de Bogota, leading by performance too. More on Latin American performance ratios and data on thebanker.com and the Banker database.